How's it going, folks? This is an unboxing of the Honda VFR 750R by Tamiya. So, everything is sealed. So, you've seen it for the first time at night. I've opened them with my mouth. Sorry about this. First of all, there's the, the decals. Nice sheet of decals. Second, we have the tires with a little mini screwdriver, springs for the suspension. Bolts, the bolt and the third one, and for the wheels. So just let me put down the camera for one second. Oh, sorry, I should have brought in me. I'm sitting in bed, Rob. Sorry about this. I'm sitting in bed. Just give us a second. Yeah, sorry about that lads, there's um, one of the springs in my hand, don't mind all the paint on the back of my nails and my hands, I'm at the main painting, I'm flying through the build, the appreciation build for Jimmy Morrison, I'm a little screwdriver. Front tire. It's not bad. Hang on, one sec. The Lifeus. Every time I record off this phone, I never knock on the Lifeus. I gotta realize after I upload the video. Running around after the six dogs that I have in the house all together, so yeah, you can see the little tiny bolts that's for bolting the fur into the, the frame of the week. But well, what's mad is I just had a look at the fur, it's see through like it shows you on the box. So, the way it has see through fur where it's supposed to have all the decals and all and the name of the week or whatever. When it has the third on it all in front there, well it has, it's clear. So you can paint it, or you can leave it clear so you can see exactly what you can see now on the front of that box. So we'll see when I start building what route will go down. Because that was the screws, you seen the front tyre. Big fat rear tyre. Super detail in these bikes. There's the wiring for the brakes, the clutch cylinders, everything you can think of that has tubes and wires coming from. There's more. There's a little bit of nation. Not bad. There's the other spring. And again, the little mini screwdriver. So, now we're getting to the good stuff. Again, staple, I hate the staples, scratch the plastic. I usually, um, every kill yesterday I buy them, I usually take people go out of bags just so I don't have to do any of that when I'm if we decide to do an unboxing. But there you go, there there's the front and back wheels. 
the famous back wheel work there. All the spokes. Which is on the all the v VFRs. A spoke mag wheel. I think it's a six spoke front mag wheel. And we could change it up. I have spare wheels from the last kit I got. Sorry, I'm not finished with that. There's the tank in one where the last bike I'd done had a, a tank that you had to join together, so it was two separate pieces. But that was the nail shima kit. Then we have the back. Ferdinands that go where the seat go. The left hand side and the right hand side. And a few other little parts. There the injector spark plug I think actually. These pieces here. Pipe and go on to them. I think that's the master cylinder side it. From my guard. Now I'm recording on my phone again lads. I know it used to be real laggy. I don't know if it is still the same or not, but yeah. I'm recording on my phone again today, sorry. Just lazy. But there's um the chain the discs for the back wheel, front suspension, um, we have the exhaust pipe, and the headers off the exhaust, we have the like, it's like a delta box frame, delta frame, I think that's what they run, a delta, delta box, I'm sure that's what they're called. Oh, it's years since I had one. I had a, I had the four hundred one, but it was custom painted, as I said before. It was a custom paint job, purple and black. Tiger striped, but it was a four hundred or VFR four hundred or. It was only what twenty one at the time. It wasn't in very good condition when I got it, but um. Cleaned it up a bit, you know. Good service, looked after for the year and a half, two years out of four, and then one of my friends borrowed on me. Then he ended up selling it to one of his friend dad's, his father's friends. He borrowed off him then, so yeah, they got around. <laughs> I think it was in a 92 one I had on it. It was in a, it was old. Like I have a, um, a flying brick right now that I bought off my um, father-in-law. It's a RT BMW 1985 with all the ferns on it. Um, the flying brick they're called. It's in the BMW green. That's the bike I have right now, the 1100. It's sitting down in the car park now in me on the ground. But I haven't been using it because I have to get a new helmet. The helmet I had got wet inside and got smell of moisture. Like, oh, it was horrible. Damp smell inside of it. It was rotten. I just decided to throw it out. And I just never got around to um, buying a new helmet, you know. I was in the cars for a long time, but I always liked bikes as well. But yeah, here's the rest of the parts, as you can see. See, at the side of the engine. Tank. Uh, chain sprocket cover, is it? So I'm sure it is. Um, yeah, there's a few bits. Yeah, there's the radiator and... Killers. Famous front twin lights. That's the clusters. 
wing mirrors, clutch handbrake, not to me handbrake, clutch and front brake, and with the handlebars all in one piece. Very nice, very detailed. Now, this will be my third ever model bike to build, but my second, second 112 decent model bike to build. I probably won't build this on the channel, I might just show it when it's finished because of a lot of projects going. I started the Lamborghini Contest last week. And I got the paint and all onto that and everything else, but I put that then away for the two group builds, the Jimmy Morrison uh, appreciation build and the Heroes of the Hour build, group build, police crown car. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm working on at the moment. I'm trying to get the fur milk that I'll show you the it comes in that wrapper there. And then the plastic comes the plastic with the piece comes inside that box inside the kit. So there's the front ferdens. There's the front ferdens. The clear see through as I says um you can paint them or you can leave them like that. Then we have all the other lenses for the headlights, the backlights, the indicators, and so on. And then we have the bottom front half. This part of the third down the end here. See? See, it's real clear. So, being a bike, I know you bit paint on the inside of the clear parts on a car. I'm sure you do that on the motorbikes too. But if it's a bit complicated for me to do, I think I might just build it the way it's built on the box. With the see through fur and all that, you know. And just put the red, blue and white. If the white on the tank that it is and just put the paint the blue part and then I have the red de decals so decals so um yeah with the gold leaf paint tammy paint I got in for the front brake rollers on the cylinders and then it looks like it has it as well on the headers of the exhaust coming in from the engine so that was the unboxing of the Honda VFR 750R by Tanya. Hope you enjoyed the unboxing, lads. And if I don't build it on the channel because I have so many other builds for the channel, then um, I'll put it up when it's finished to show you the finished um, build. So please like, comment, and subscribe. If you're not subscribed already, please hit the subscribe button. I'm trying to reach 250 subs. I'm not far from that now. And then I have I want to give a kit away to you. I'll do a raffle off a kit and then the winner will be picked by my daughter. She's only nine or else my partner. I'll put all the names and hats of the people that enter to give away into a into a hat. People's names and um, channel and I'll put this into a draw and I'll let my daughter or my parent not pick from a hat couldn't be any further than that and all you have to do is like comment and subscribe and just comment on the video when I reach the 250 subs to say giveaway starting just comment on that to say you're in or and like and that's it that's your entry and I'll let her run for a week and then We'll find out who's lucky to win the kit. So, thanks lads. Have a nice day. And I'll see you again soon. Stay safe. Peace.
Bye-bye.